Hey everybody, Alex from SeemsGoodMagic.com here. We're doing another Ammon Cat Intermediate Swiss Draft League. If you enjoy the content, please like and subscribe. Okay, Kefnet, the Mindful. Yeah, we got a god here. We're going to take him. Or her. We're going to take them. We also have Gravedigger in here, Magma Spray. These are both good first starting points. I'd probably take Gravedigger over Magma Spray. I don't know, actually. Return Target Creature card is pretty good. Gravedigger belongs that uncommon. Works really well with himself, but let's take the god. Blue might be the worst god. Actually, yeah, blue or the black. I mean, blue at least lets you draw cards and stuff. Black, you have to sack creatures to even attack with it. But having seven or more cards in hand with Kefnet isn't always so easy either. Be cool if Kefnet lets you uh, have more than ooh, more than uh, seven cards in your hand is what I was gonna say. Uh, so there's Blood Rage Brawler as well. I mean, we could just take the Rags to Riches. It's not amazing. I feel like it's better in multiplayer. You can steal stuff. It's cool. There's certain matches where it's going to be fantastic, so maybe just taking the board wipe is correct. I mean, the other pick is like Blood Rage Brawler and go for a... Blood Rage Brawler is so antithetical to what Kefnet wants to do, though. And I mean, we probably want to play Kefnet, right? It is, after all, a big god. There's no good, like, straight blue cards in here. Winds of Rebuke is certainly playable. Cartouche of Ambition is really good, actually. I like this card. It's swingy. It's very swingy. I think I'm going to take the rare. I'll take the rags to riches. Okay, so now we have Initiate, which we probably are taking, and Seeker of Insight. No good black card. Best card in the pack is probably the Honored Crop Captain. Soul Stinger's actually very good, too. But I think we take the Initiate over it. Initiate does not survive the... Wait, isn't this thing really good? Cost three less to cast if a creature died this turn. Yeah, this card's great. I'm going to take Bone Picker. I got a bone to pick with you. Take that over River Serpent. Okay, so now there's Winds of Rebuke, Sensor, Dune Beetle. Probably take the Winds of Rebuke. It's good with Embalm, which is in blue anyway. Might be better than Dune Beetle. I actually don't know. Dune Beetle's pretty good already. We have three Flyers, and it survives... Maybe Doom Beetle is something that we want. All right. Okay, so now there's Supernatural Stamina, Doomed Dissenter, No Good Blue. Could take the Trial. The Trial is obviously very good. It's a very strong card. Supernatural stamina stamina gives you into the battlefield effects again. Doom Dissenter is good with Neg 1, Neg 1 effects, chump blocks. I guess we'll take the Dissenter. It's also a Naga Vitalist in here, which is just hanging out and being amazing. I'm going to take the Vitalist. I don't care enough about Dissenter, and if I end up in like green, black, splash, blue for Kefnet or something, I'm pretty happy about that. Just always passing the face of the devoted. Always making me want to play it. We don't even have kind of a good start for it. And I still just want to play it. Otherwise, there's Naga Oracle. Soul Stinger. I'm going to take Faith. I don't care. This card is so good. Blue-black is the right color scheme for that anyway. 
despite the fact that we have nothing that works with it yet. We'll find some cyclers. Uh, guess Winds of Rebuke here instead of Kefnet's Monument, which does make the Mindful cheaper, right? Not that that needs to be cheaper. And otherwise, some Mummy. We'll take the Winds of Rebuke here. So, Seeker of Insight would be something I'd like. So, Bantu's Monument technically works. Miasmic Mummy works with the Faith. We're going to take the Ancient Crab, though. Get more defensive stuff. We have good flyers at the moment, anyway. So another Winds of Rebuke or Scarab Feast. Scarab Feast works better with our Faith. Winds of Rebuke's a better card, though. I think we're going to take the Winds of Rebuke. If we don't make the Faith of the Devoted work, it's okay. But Winds of Rebuke is actually good for Embalm stuff in general. And it can... Remember, it's non-land permanent, so... There's a lot of kind of utility bounce stuff and it's just a token killer too also important in the embalm format so basically i just took the vitalist because it's a ramp card like it's a good ramp card soul stinger is pretty awesome happy to get it here over the benefaction in the well, Benefaction wouldn't happen anyway, I guess, but over the second Ancient Crab. All right, got the Scarab Feast anyway. I'm going to take it over Spider Grass. I'm, I think we're just not going to make the screen work. Despite Naga Vitalist being one of our better cards, just the fact that it ramps, I'm convinced that we're going to be able to make Blue Black work with Faith of the Devoted as well. All right, we'll take the Scribe. Seems unlikely we'll be able to cycle that. Okay, cool pack one. I mean, it's cool, but if we want to make this Faith of the Devoted work, we're going to need the help. So, Sensor, but Shimmer Scale Drake's ahead of that. And then there's Splendid Agony, which is good removal, but I think we're taking the Drake. We want Cycler. It's another Flyer. It's good. Take it over Splendid Agony. I mean, we don't have any removal, which does make the Splendid Agony better. Mm. And you can kill two things with it. We have one cycle card so far, though. So basically, if I want to make Faith work, I gotta I gotta start picking cycle now. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go for it. We're gonna go for cycle. This guy's so good. Uh, cartouche, cartouche. Here's a Floodwaters, though. I think we'll just take the Floodwaters. Another Cycler can do some big things later. Taking it over Cartouche of Ambition. Okay. Jeez. Scaled Beelmas. Good. Could take the River Serpent, Illusory Wrappings, or Cartouche of Knowledge. We're going to take the Serpent. Another Cycler. Uh, actually, Unburdened, I think, is better than River Serpent. More expensive cycle, but more just a better effect. Rather have that than like a 5-5. Five five. Grim Strider, but we want to have a full hand, so I don't love that. God, Crocodile of the Crossing is so good. Card doesn't even make sense. Can take another Floodwaters. We can take another Dune Beetle. I think I'll take another Floodwaters. Starting to get there now on Cyclers, so that's good. Because he'd rather play the Drake as a 3-4 flyer anyway. If 
So another Drake will take it over the Cartouche of Knowledge. Another crack at getting Splendid Agony, though. I still think Drake... I don't actually know. Because we're just removal light enough where I think Splendid Agony would be pretty good. But at the same time, like... The Drake is very good, too. I'm going to take the Drake. I don't know if this is right, but... Usually I would go for removal, but I think this is better. So we can take Wander and Death now. Or we can take Curse Minotaur. I like them both. I'm going to go Wander and Death. For cycling. So we got hooked up with all sorts of stuff out of this pack. Instead of Decision Paralysis, I think we'll take the Skirmisher. Just in case we need it. We also have Double Winds of Rebuke. It makes the Skirmisher slightly better in our deck. So there's a Slither Blade, which is evasive, but I'd probably rather just have another Ground Blocker of Dune Beetle. Because we've got a good amount of flyers now. Soul Stinger number two is fine. Otherwise, you take Sensor. I like the Soul Stinger, though, especially with these, like, big fat bodies. I'm going to take the Soul Stinger. Sensor is pretty fun to play, though. So we're already up to six uh, cyclers. Scribe of the Mindful does not need to be in here. Granted, we need some more removal. I probably don't need to main deck the Scarab Feast. Okay, with double Soul Stinger, we might just want like a... Actually, you can still put it on a Skirmisher. I mean, you don't get the same level of value that you would get from a Dissenter or Festering Mummy, but I like it better with double Winds of Rebuke in our deck, so I'm going to do that instead. And it's still a viable Soul Stinger Neg 1, Neg 1 counter target, I think. Four mana for a 4-5 in black is pretty good. Okay, got the River Serpent now. We'll take it. I'd rather play the River Serpent than the Scarab Feast. And we should be able to get five or more cards in my graveyard. So we're starting to get there on uh, Cyclers, which is nice. We already are up to seven, which is close to enough. And we have another pack, so we could still find another Faith of the Devoted. Crossing my fingers on that one. Or get the, dra the if we got the Drake Haven, we'd be in some real business then. All right, I guess we'll take the Hone Kopesh, though. Fairly unlikely we'd play that. Don't need any of these. All right, playable Ancient Crab, though. In multiples, fairly unexciting. So we're already in upgrade mode. Well... I think Hone Kopesh probably does not belong in this deck. Ooh, wait, what, don't you copy things? Yeah, this is cool. All right. So probably taking that, right? Yeah, there's also a Hecma Sentinel in here, which would be really good, and an Unburden. Might wield the Hecma Sentinel, depending on how deep the cycling strategies are going, but definitely taking the clone, dude. God, so many Crocodile of the Crossing. That card is so good. Card is so good. Aven Initiate, number two. Otherwise, Essence Scatter. I think we're actually going to take Essence Scatter here. We're not doing enough. Well, we are doing quite a bit early, but Essence Scatter is really good. I do like Aven Initiate. I think a crab is going to go anyway. So, yeah, I could take another Initiate, but Essence Scatter is pretty awesome. This is tough, because Initiate is certainly valuable, and I need enough ways to win. I probably need more Flyers. I do have a couple Drakes, but I'm going to have to go with the Initiate. Ooh, Shadowstorm Vizier is also a Cancel, a Horror of the Broken Lands. But we're going to take the Shadowstorm Vizier here. Unburden, Floodwaters number three. Evolving Wilds. 
We already have Unburden. We already have two Floodwaters. Could take another Unburden, I guess. Hmm. All right. So we can take the Cartouche of Ambition. I think we want the Seeker, though. Well, we, we have nine spells. That's enough to make the Seeker good in here. Taking it over Cartouche of Ambition, which is really good, but we're focusing on the cycling here. This is not good enough. I guess we take Painful Lesson over Mummy. I don't really like Mummy for our deck so much. Painted Bluffs don't need the fixing. Scarab Feast don't need that. Don't need the Trespasser's Curse. All right. Is Sweltering Sun worth anything? It's a pretty awesome rare, by the way. How is it this late? It's a board wipe. I'm going to just take it. So I'm going to just pass two tickets. That far along, too. Ooh, that. Oh, my gosh. What a gift. Exactly what we wanted. So now our deck is here. We are rock and rolling, ready to go. We got it. Rocking and rolling, ready to go. Okay, probably don't need that, but we'll take it. The mummy that we don't need. This mummy that we don't really need either, but I'll take it. Slither blade. So we can easily afford to cut creatures. Deck looks good, too. We can probably end up cutting... I mean, our curve is actually pretty low, too. We top out at four. We do have Embalm, though. Hmm. I'm okay with running 17. Because we also have Seeker of Insight, too. To help mitigate Flood. We did not get very hard removal at all, which could be a problem. It's going to make our bounce spells that much more important. All right. But we did get the double faith of the devoted. And that is all I care about. Okay. So let's figure out some cuts here, shall we? So current... Cycle count. Let's figure this out. I think Ancient Crab's probably going to go because it's whatever. We have better things that we're doing. These are four drops. This thing's kind of a four drop too. Let's ditch the crab. These are things to do it too. Painful lesson I think can go. Rags to riches we probably just want to try and main deck if we can. So we have to make cuts and we can cut creatures. So I think the Skirmishers might just go. They're pretty bad anyway. They're basically just good with Winds of Rebuke, and I might I might cut one of my Winds of Rebuke. I haven't decided. We could do the 16 land special. Not a huge fan of that either. We've got Mana Sinks and Kefnet. We can card draw off that with Seeker. We have big curve 
potential stuff in like floodwaters if we want embalming like vizier even initiates riches like it makes sense to me that we keep as much as we can plus the shimmer scale drakes too how many cyclers do we have one two three four five six seven eight we only have eight I guess this can work with Faith of the Devoted too, though. So why don't we cut uh, a Winds of Rebuke? It does leave us extremely removal light, but I think we need all of the cyclers we can keep. So, okay. I'm all right with that. It's a double blue, double black. I guess we still air towards... We still air towards blue. They agree. All right. Oh, I have to sort one more time again. Keep screwing this up. Um, so overall, this deck looks pretty fun. I mean, anytime I can abuse Faith of the Devoted, I'm feeling pretty good. It's a very fun card to play, as I've mentioned. Um, very, very fun card to play. We can just organize this by cycler. So I want a better idea of what our curve looks like because our curve actually is pretty good. Something like this. Yeah, this looks good. I think this can get there. So, all right. We'll try this out. Run it like this. See you round one.